like, comment, subscribe. Welcome to my kitchen. On my menu today is a chickpea pasta and a uh, sauce, vegetable sauce that I make when I roast uh, ribs. And uh, it's already up on my channel, the sauce and the rib recipe. And I um, freeze or prepack the, the leftover sauce and freeze it. And so I can put it out at any point and use it in a different dish. So today it is a chickpea pasta with this vegetable sauce made from spices and simple vegetables, carrots, celery, red pepper and onions. And uh, it creates this really robust complex sauce that you can do multiple things with. So today, one of the bags that I froze earlier in the week, last weekend maybe, <laughs> is gonna be used for a pasta sauce. And we are going to pair it with some breakfast sausage mince. I am not gonna spice it really heavily or anything because I wanted to carry the flavors of the sauce into the pasta. And um, as a result, I'm just going to spice it with some salt and pepper and garlic. I always add garlic because it changes the flavor and smell of the meat. It's just more gentler. I remember growing up that my mom had this conversation with someone in the kitchen explaining why we always add garlic. And it was this idea um, that it removes the extra meaty smell um, of your meat. And that like almost uh, strange extra meaty texture taste. And I didn't understand what you meant at the time, but now that I cook in my own house and we keep cooking in a like collaborative way where I'm listening to the recipes um, my husband uh, used to eat when he cooked for himself or recipes growing up. And um, obviously I come from a different cooking background and everything is spices. So we like, I listen to a meal and I try to create this collaborative effort that we can both enjoy. And some meals I'll taste it his way and he'll taste it my way and then we'll come to a togetherness recipe. <laughs> And so um, it's just one of those things that we continue to do for some strange reason. My voice is sounding very deep today. Um, so yeah, I am not sure how this recipe is gonna go because I have never cooked it with this sauce, um, with this sausage meat before. Normally I take that sauce and I just quickly prepare some chicken, salt and pepper, garlic uh, in strips and um, fry it up and add it to the sauce. And chicken is neutral enough that it absor um, absorbs, absorbs, <laughs> it absorbs the flavor of the sauce and it is quite delightful. Um, but this sausage meat was my husband's idea this morning. So I washed my hair this morning. And it's very static. It is what it is. So I am trying to wear a headband. <laughs> um, not something I usually do. So let's go. We're gonna fry up the mince. We're gonna heat up the sauce. Took it out of the freezer um, earlier today. Put it in the fridge so it's ready should have partially defrosted and cook up the pasta not in that order or maybe in that order so let's figure this recipe out i hope it turns out okay we have sausage mince sauce and two kinds of pasta let's do this the pan is on a medium heat i'm going to add some coconut oil and then my breakfast sausage meat and a tablespoon of minced garlic and some salt and some black pepper to taste. And then I'm just gonna allow it to cook. As it fries up, I'm gonna stir in the spices and the garlic and allow it to be evenly coated. 
Here's our mince. It is cooked and ready for the pasta sauce, super easy, quick cook time, and very little prep. Time to make some pasta. The water is rapidly boiling, and so I'm going to add my chickpea pasta to this pot, and veggie pasta to another. To a pot, I added the partially defrosted sauce, and half a cup of water and now I'm bringing it to a boil stirring as I go so any kind of ice that's still left will melt and the sauce will heat through. Now it's time for your mincemeat. Just add that to the pan and stir so that everything's evenly coated and it heats through and then we're ready to serve. This was so delicious. And my husband was so right about the meat and the sauce pairing perfectly. We added a little cheese at the end, but that's totally up to you. And I'm thinking that this was a winner winner sausage meat dinner. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.